And we are back with Rudy Annapol, who is going to tell us about some of the artwork of Ladislav Sharashevsky. So, Rudy, tell us a little bit about this artwork. I know that he is uh, living still in Kiev. Still living and will living in Kiev uh, because he got a lot of appreciation uh, in Kiev, and in, uh, Kiev, which is capital of Ukraine, and uh, in Europe. His work is more important than anything else. It's uh, simple to find, you know, when you open up, this is good thing for collection. You open up uh, your computer, you will see what's going on. You will see what mostly in different galleries where he sells his pictures, his pictures sold practically. All of his pictures. Why it's happened? What what's so interesting about him? First, it's impressionistic manner, how he paints his pictures. You know, he is super talented. Second, uh, it's uh, you know, and he easy. You see right away that he easy come to and build uh, to. Uh, uh, you know, picture in built environment immediately. It's not so easy, you know, to put everybody in small space like that. Uh, you know, one uh, famous Ukraine artist told us, we now have Sherishevsky. This is only one who can paint picture like uh, a, a meeting of uh, government uh, representative, and it's uh, by reading uh, this picture was famous. Size of this picture was 20 meters by 10 meters, and this in the Russian museums in, uh, in St. Petersburg. And I know when uh, uh, American and all foreigners came, were usually fascinating because it's 129 figures on this picture, okay, all together, you know. Now, here you have binders. Uh, here, uh, uh, and by the way, too, it's Schneider, and these binders, you see, Keeper, uh, uh, it's, uh, you know, I, when I call him and ask him, send me pictures, I ask him, I need pictures to show to American Jewish people Traditionally, what uh, Russian Jews did, what they did, this is not super old. It's beginning of last century. Uh, we're speaking about 1920s, uh, 1910s to 1920s. This is still how uh, when uh, Jews became a little bit free, we started, uh, this is their first you know, here is Schneider traditionally, uh, and here is Binder. Here, together, we, uh, we have dinner. And a lot of people will ask me why it's not traditional Jewish dinner. Because, uh, see, here in America, people have keepers and all this stuff. That way it could, but you see, man sees in hats. You know, it's a little bit different. You know, here you see maybe it's keeper, maybe it's hat. It's, it's hard to say. But, uh, uh, you know, it's traditional, traditional dinner. You know, it's uh, 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 candles and the wine, and they memorize something. It's hard to say what they do, but it's a Jewish dinner.